So as you can see from the title, today is a big day. So first of all, no, I'm not one of those ballers that buys crazy expensive wheels all the time for all their cars. This is actually my first expensive wheel. I mean, it's very expensive to me. As you can see from the last video, I just buy tire rack, Kose K1s, which are light wheels, but no name brands. So I'm not gonna play it all cool like I've bought a million pairs of Volks or Works or any European brands. I'm genuinely excited for this. Oh man, I've never owned a pair of these, so I'm super excited. All right, here we go. First look. Oh my God. And this is it. Who would have thought I'd own a pair of TE37s? This is so sick. As you can tell, they're not brand new. They have their original paint on it and their original decals. So let's get to the specs. These are 16 by seven plus 42. So I've been looking for these specs for quite some time, at least five, six months. And they're just really hard to find because I think they stopped making these in the early 2000s, but yeah, they don't make these anymore. So I'm glad I found these. So I got these from Bo Gout on Instagram. I'll put his Instagram on the screen right here. Thank you so much. He has so many JDM wheels from 15 inch all the way to 18 inch. Anything you want, he probably has it. So check out his Instagram. Let's see, oh my God. These things are so light. I mean, look at this. All right, brought the scale down. Let's see what our weight is at with the camera stepping on right now. And we are at, there we go, 142.7. Okay, now let's grab this wheel. So this is one wheel with the camera. 142.7 and now it is going to be one fifty four point five so that makes it about eleven point eight pounds that's not the most accurate way of weighing the wheels but it's just giving you a ballpark of how much they weigh like i said the wheels are in their original condition so it has 25 years of use on this finish i'm glad it's not completely refinished right now with new paint and decals i'd be way too anal about daily driving them everywhere we're just gonna clean it up a little bit and try to get some of the shine back Also good to note, I have no water hose at this apartment, so I'm cleaning them with spray bottles. And now after that sad attempt of washing the wheels, we're gonna use new finish, which is the only thing I have in this garage to kinda get the shine back. So hopefully this does something. I think it should. Okay, so let's test it out on this spoke right here. We'll apply a little bit of it on the spoke. Okay, rub it in a little bit. Dude, I think that helped a lot, honestly. Here you can see the difference some turtle wax wheel cleaner can do. It is the next day. I have to drop off the wheels to get the tires mounted on them. And now they're here. Okay, so here's the wheels. I never told you guys which tires I'm getting. And here they are. I got some sticky boys for some daily driving. I got these because they're still pretty cheap, cheaper than the RT660s. And it doesn't rain too much in Austin. And I mean, obviously I'm not gonna be dealing with snow, so I thought I'd get some sticky tires. They are 215.45, which is not a common spec in 16s, but I do think they look best on a seven inch wheel. All right, so let's test this out. Ideally, I want to do extended studs, but that'll probably happen later down the road. Okay, so here's the issue. I bought these lug nuts way back when I bought the car. I just wanted to swap out these lug nuts. But the thing is, so these studs don't even reach the end of the short lug nut. 
which it doesn't necessarily need to reach the end. So to understand how many turns you need to have on the stud to be safe, you need to know the specs of the lug nuts that you need. So I looked it up on the 2000 Fit or most Hondas, they are 12 by 1.5. So you do 12 divided by 1.5, which is eight. So you need eight turns minimum to be safe on the road to make sure the wheel doesn't come off. Okay, so let's check. I'm gonna use the X over here to count how many turns we have. One, two, three, four, five. It's like five or so turns, which is not enough. So I got these lug nuts from Amazon and same issue, unfortunately. It's getting around six-ish turns on these studs. Just temporarily, because I need the car, I'm gonna use it as it is for now. In the meantime, I'm gonna research and probably get some ARP extended studs just to play it safe. So yeah, let's just see how it looks like. So here's the new setup. Slightly lighter wheels and 215s versus 195s. So this definitely inspires more confidence, especially in turning. I mean, overall, this transforms the car so much. So the threshold of breaking the tire loose is just way higher now compared to the 195s. These Falcons on the road with spirited driving break loose about five, 10 miles an hour faster than the 195 Yokohamas. I mean, this is just so much stickier. Yep, the car sits pretty high still, but this is currently how it sits. We've got a little bit of poke in the front. Personally, I think the rear tucks nicely. I don't think I'm gonna space it out more. So here's a side profile shot. You can see the rear especially needs a drop. I'd say two inches in the back and one inch in the front. Don't worry, we're gonna fix this horrible gap. So yeah, that's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next week.